Hello everyone, I am blessed and highly favored to see another day, all glory and praise be to my Father God, who is number one in my life, and I pray that you have him number one in your life as well. Now with that being said, what I am going to be speaking about is salvation in the cross. Yes, there is freedom in the cross, there is hope in the cross, man, definitely love in the cross of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, my King, my mighty rock, my strong tower. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Now, I'm going to be reading out of the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 18 through 19. For the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing, but to us who are being saved, it is the power of God, for it is written, I will destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring to nothing the understanding of the prudence. Mm. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Salvation in the cross. Mm. He carried our cross. He took the lashes on the back for us. Mm, paid the high price for our sins. Mm. It's a Paul summarizes. Uh, it's a to emphasize a point. Jesus often made God's way of thinking differs from the world. Differs from the world way. Normal human wisdom. God also offers eternal life, which. The world can never give. Someone can spend a lifetime accumulating human wisdom and yet never learn how to have a personal relationship with God. We must come to the crucified and risen Christ to receive eternal life and the joy of a personal relationship with our Savior. Amen. Mm. You have to say, which the world can never give someone can spend a lifetime accumulating human wisdom and yet never learn how to have a personal relationship with god we must come to the crucified and risen christ to receive eternal life and that joy of a of, of personal relationship with our savior amen now reading out of the book of romans chapter 10 verses 9 through uh, 13 it says if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead you will be saved for with the heart one believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confess confession is made unto salvation for the scripture says whoever believes on him will not be put to shame whoever believes on him will not be put to shame for there is no Distinction between Jew and Greek for the, the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him for whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. So whoever call, you know, no matter who it is, the prostitute, uh, the child molester, uh, the hit man, you know, for hire, um, you know, the backslider, whoever. You know, old, young, middle aged, whoever, it don't matter. It's a for there is no distinction between Jew and Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Now, reading out of the book of John, chapter 3, verses. Uh, 16 through 18. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever, there go that word again, whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not he who does not believe is condemned already because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God.
So it says, he who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not is condemned already. So that's self-explanatory right there. So, yeah. It's that people, people often try to protect themselves from their fears by putting their faith in something they they do have, something they do or have, good deeds, skills, or in, intelligence, money, or possessions, but only God can save us from the one danger we really need to fear, eternal condemnation. I'm talking about eternity in hell. You know, we should fear the Lord, yeah, but, you know, to be in a place in hell where, you know, in the first place, it's not meant for us, only for the devil and his pack of stupid clowns. It's a, we believe, it's a, um, all right, uh, by putting their, it's a, people often try to protect themselves uh, from their fears by putting their faith in something they do or have. Good deeds, skills, or intelligence, money, or possessions. But only God can save us. Only God can save us from the one danger we really need to fear. Eternal condemnation. We believe in God by recognizing the uh, in, uh, inf um, influence of, yeah, influence of our own efforts to merit uh, salvation by asking him to do this work to do his work in us when Jesus talks about unbelievers he means those who reject or ignore him completely not those who have monetary thoughts so he's talking about the ones that reject him completely like I'm talking about don't want nothing to do with them don't want to hear his name. Don't want to hear nothing about the word of God. Nothing about like, like nothing. You know, those are the ones that's going to go in uh, eternal condemnation, you know, which is hell. Last but not least, I'm going to be reading out of the book of Titus chapter two, uh, starting at verse 11 uh, through verse 15 for the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all man teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust we should live soberly righteously and godly in the present age looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ it's a who gave himself for us, who gave himself for us. He laid his life down willingly. Nobody took his life. He gave it. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul from the pits of hell. Thank you, Lord Jesus, my king. Mm. Glorious a prayer to our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for himself his own special people zealous for good works speak these things extort and rebuke with all authority let no one despise you with all authority let no one despise you amen glory hallelujah Thank you, Jesus, my king. Yes. Amen. Jesus will redeem us. Huh? It's a from every lawlessness deed and purify himself. His own special people, zealous. Mm, I'm talking about I'm zealous. I'm so in love with Jesus. Man, nothing in this world can, I'm talking about, Turn me away. I have me to deny my Lord Jesus. Never. I stump on same face each and every day. Yes, Jesus. Lawless purify himself for it's a for good works. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh man. Mmm. 
God said in his word mm, that he don't wish any shall perish, but all should come to repentance. It is not his will that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. Mm, thank you for waking me up this morning. I'm in my right mind. Mm. Glory, hallelujah. I'm preaching the word to the masses, having them to be upset with me because I'm spreading the truth like a wildfire. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. God 365 nonstop. Just Peace Music NT Ministries. God bless y'all. I love y'all. And I love you with the love of Jesus and telling you the truth and speaking the word of God to your heart and to your spirit because it's essential for us. While living on this earth. Amen.